All right, guys, so <clears throat> in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make sense of your results from your ads and kind of like how to set up your dashboard and understand. So this is one of my clients. Um, he actually let his credit card lapse. And so it says uh, not delivering payment method decline. So his ads are actually off right now. So I figured this would be a good opportunity to pop in here and do a lesson and show you guys. Um, so the first thing you're gonna wanna understand is you have your campaign level, you have your ad set um, level, and then of course you have your uh, ad level, which is over here. So all the data you're gonna see all directly ties to wh what column you are in, okay? It all, it all ties to what column you're in. Um, I'm actually uploading a video lesson right, right now. That's why my dashboard's being a little bit slow. <laughs> So bear with me. Um, so let me go ahead and show you what uh, you know what some of these metrics are. So if we go to the campaign view and um, we go over here to the to this button right here that says columns, if we choose performance, right? There's all different types, but if we choose performance, 99% of the time that's what we're going to be looking at. You can choose all these different options here to get a little bit more detailed information about like, for instance, like let's say you wanted to really go deep on video engagement or performance and clicks or um, whatever messenger engagement, that's where you would look at it, which I'll show you that in a moment. But if I select performance, <clears throat> I'm gonna get the most relevant information. So first of all, you have your campaign name here you have your delivery here. So these are inactive because these are ads we're no longer running or maybe they the lead cost got too high or whatever. These two ads um, were running just the other day, but he let his pay, he forgot to update his payment card, so that's why it says payment method declined. And um, that's another thing. You wanna make sure that um, you you do check this stuff because this 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 is a common thing that happens with clients they'll literally forget to update their payment method. Their card will expire or, you know, th their bank will shut down their card and um, they, they won't have got it replaced yet. And so Facebook will stop their ads. And so you need to pay attention to that because um, I've, I've, one time I had a client that happened and he comes back a week later and he's like, my ads haven't been running. And I'm like, you know, your card declined, but I had forgotten to like reach out to him and tell him that. So, um, you know, I kind of took, I, it's kind of my fault. So um, I would definitely pay attention to that. So over here is where it says results and <clears throat> whatever you optimize for, like if you optimize for conversions, it'll say the name of your conversion right here and it'll tell you how many you got. Um, if you optimize for uh, messaging replies, it'll say 10 messaging replies, right? So that's Basically, and if you hover over each one of these, Facebook does a pretty good job of explaining what each means. Like this says the number of times your ad achieved an outcome based on your objective and the settings you selected. So that's pretty straightforward. Now reach, <clears throat> what reach means is, it's the number of people who saw your ads unique, uniquely. So they saw your ads at least once. Um, so reach is actually different than impressions. Impressions is the number of times your ad was, was seen in general. So basically these 1,932 people saw this ad um, multiple times, which amounted to 4,088. And let me just let me zoom in here a little bit for those of you guys that maybe like me, you have glasses. Um, yeah, I'm gonna zoom in. Okay, great. So um, now if we, if we go over, you'll see, uh, and by the way, sometimes when you mess with the dashboard, and you zoom, whoops, I zoomed in way too much. Holy crap, hold on, let me, let me, back, let me back up a little bit. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So, hold on, let me give it a second to, there we go, okay. So, um, over here it'll say cost per result. And this is, this is where it's like, okay, it costs us $5.38 per messaging reply. Now, if you think about that, what that means is it's the average cost per result of your ads. Now think about this for a second. We've run an ad here. We, we've we spent, and over here, amount spent, it'll tell you the total amount spent in the time period, right? So all this data, by the way, 
goes by the time period. So I'm using lifetime, um, which is up here. You can actually select you know, today, yesterday, last seven days, whatever, um, and that'll tell you the time period that you're looking at this data. Now, what is really cool about this is we spent $53 and we got 10 people to message this business and say, hey, I'm interested in your services, which is $5.38 each. Can you imagine five bucks to get someone to message your business and inquire about your services? That's amazing. Like, just, just think about that for a second, how amazing that is. For, we can set up a few ads and within a few minutes have an ad running and next thing you know, for only five bucks a pop, we have people messaging a business. I mean, that's, and inquiring about their services. I mean, that's just incredible to me. You know, it, there's no reason any local business should have, should be low on customers. And there's just no reason. And you're, you know, you're going to be providing this service to people and you're going to be saving a lot of people's businesses and helping them and helping them grow. And it's just a beautiful thing. And it's, it's, it's amazing how much easier it is today than it was, you know, 50 years ago. So with that said, let's continue. Um, so over here where it says ends, this just tells you when you're, you know, like for instance, if you set it to end October 10th, it would, that's just what it would say. That just tells you when your ad is set to end. If it's ongoing, it means it just keeps running until you shut it off. And then people taking action is just, um, like that's, a, to me, it's like a useless metric because it doesn't tell you anything specific. It just says the number of people that did something with your ad, like they clicked, they liked, whatever. Um, <clears throat> now, if I wanted to dig deeper, I could click the same um, button here and I could choose something like um, engagement, all right? And now it gives me different data. So for instance, it'll tell me exactly how many post shares, how many post comments, um, all that stuff. So for instance, like this post, this headlock video we made, it got 161 post shares, right? And it got three, uh, 167 post reactions, 53 post comments. Now here's what's funny about this. Some people might say, oh, that's amazing. Um, it got all that, but honestly, I believe this ad right here is a better performer because even though it only got one post share, it only got one post comment, it got 10 people to directly message the business for only five bucks. So I think that's, that's, that's amazing. Um, so <clears throat> if we click on ad set at this point, all this data now transfers over and we're able to see which ad sets are performing the best, right? So let me just go back to, and let me go back to regular performance. So ad sets, so th this would be useful if you wanted to see who is performing better that I'm targeting, right? So if I'm targeting female 21 to 29, female 25 to 35, it tells me the individual data for that. So to use this in context, you would actually click on campaigns and so you don't see every ad set from everywhere, you'd want to click on the actual campaign. So for instance, let's click on this one right here. So at this point, it'll take us to the ad set level. And as you can see here, we have, you know, male, female, whatever, uh, we can now see the individual data. So we can see here that, you know, um, this, so men 35 to 45 were $32 per lead, not good. But female 35 to 45 was only $7 per lead, a lot better. Female 25 to 35 was 11, <coughs> 11, so eh. So as you can see here, we actually stopped this ad, but what I had done here is I had turned these three off and I had kept this ad running because, or sorry, um, this these two ads running um, because they were doing the best and they were you know, getting results. Um, $11 is a little bit high for this, but honestly, because I worked with this client so well on following up with his leads, it really didn't matter. And he just said, dude, it's fine. Because like he would, you know, even if it cost $11 per lead, half those people were coming in for a free week. And, and then, and then, you know, half those people were signing up. So if you think about the cost per customer acquisition, it's very low, but this wasn't, 
th th this ad actually, if, you, if, I, if I were to go through the data, these numbers were much lower for weeks, but then towards the end, the ad costs started creeping up, which is why they're a bit higher. Um, and that's why, you know, I, I didn't do like 141 leads when it was only, you know, it wasn't $11 the whole time. It, it went up and it went up and it went up and eventually I said, okay, this ad's run its course. So I turned it off. Um, but it was still working, you know, really well. So now if I click on the actual ad set, uh, we can go in here and we can see again, two different ads. One is a video uh, or there are two different videos, right? Or sorry, two different images, two different videos, I think. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so now we can do two different versions of the ad and we can see, you know, the difference in what's happening. Um, and if you want to see the details of the ad, you just click on it and you click this little, this little button, uh, over here <coughs> and it'll open up <coughs> and show you all of your, um, it'll show you your actual, you know, your actual stuff from the ad. And you can even edit the ad directly from here if you so wished, um, you know, throughout here. Okay. So that right there is, um, you know, but I, I found for martial arts gyms, um, the messenger stuff is amazing. The me and I'll show you the, just real quick, I'll show you the two best ads we've done. So this is the <coughs> quick <coughs> messenger ad, excuse me. <coughs> so this is the quick messenger ad, and I'll just show you this ad real quick. Um, just so you can get a little idea of uh, what ads are performing well for this particular niche. And it's a really simple ad. It's crazy how simple it is. Um, so the reason I ran this ad, um, here, actually, this is, I'll, I'll go to the actual ad. The reason I ran this ad was because I noticed as I was, and you know, you got to understand a lot of this business does take a little bit of common sense. So as I was running ads, I, I noticed one thing in all the ads. Um, um, I noticed that parents would always ask how much is it, right? And I'll actually show you that here. So actually I'll show you this other ad first so you understand what I'm talking about. Um, this ad right here was an ad we filmed. I actually filmed this. I went to the guy's place and I filmed it. Um, I didn't need to. I could have just used one of his, but I lived right down the street. I thought, why not? And it was fun. Um, so let me just click, click here and I'll click here and I'll show you the actual ad and I'll show you the difference between the two and a little bit of the strategy. Keep in mind, both of these ads work, right? They both work, but they're just different ads. Okay. So this ad right here worked really well for a while. It still works well if he'll update his freaking credit card. Um, so it says, ever been put in a headlock? Here's what to do next time it happens. Step one, watch this video. Step two, call this number and claim your free week. Only the first 10 callers, uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, so it says, call 813-481-4845, whatever, or comment, I want my free week. So um, in retrospect, this wasn't that good of copy because there was two options. You really only want to give them one option. But this is a cool video that I ran. Turn around. Last, I take Because it's, it's, him, it's him teaching this technique, right? And so it got 191 shares, which is crazy. But I want to show you something in the comments. If you scroll down, you'll see there's a ton of comments, okay? And look, very interested in pricing, okay? What age can the kids begin? Um, you know, uh, um, prices and ages. And I noticed on all, literally all of the ads, all the time, I kept getting questions about pricing, ages, stuff like that. And as, and, and the way, the way that our, our client got customers was people would like, for instance, Amy here, she says, I want my free week please so the owner of the gym sent her a pm and got her into the got her into the place um 
and you know they just kept responding they commented they messaged they got on the phone with see look monthly rates they got on the phone with people they got you know they got a conversation started and then got them into the gym so here is what I did next I created this ad a messenger ad and I said wondering if BJJ is right for your kids want to get info on our classes schedule and price click the send message button and ask any question you like we'll get you an answer ASAP so what I've done here is I've figured out what the big pain point and that is generally just info like they just want to know what the, what are the days what ages what are the prices so I said got questions send us a message and they click send a messenger and when they click this if I click that right there, it opens up Messenger, and it says, and it just opens up the conversation, right? And it says, "Hi Dan, what questions do you have about Gracie Spring Hill?" And then I just type my question, and boom. And actually, this this was me testing the ad the other day, and um, I put, uh, I even said to him, I said, "Hey Daniel, I'm testing a new ad. Gonna let it run for a few days and let me know how it does. You should be getting a ton of new messages." He said, "Nice." And he says, "Look." Looks like that other, or I said, looks like that other we put in is rocking it, 180 plus shares. And he said, it's my best ad, definitely. I get kids and adults from it. So it, again, I just love seeing this because I love seeing my clients say, it's my best ad. I'm getting tons of students. It's amazing. And I just love it. I love seeing local businesses get results. And as you can see here, we, again, we got 10 people messaging the page from this no comments because we didn't there's no they didn't need to because they clicked here and they got what they needed and so um you know when i when i uh see here that uh there's a pain point i try to fix the pain point with the ad and so we just said hey you know ask a question and it worked and so we're rocking it right now for this this uh local brazilian jiu-jitsu gym and uh, there's no reason why you can't do the same thing for gyms, restaurants, um, all that stuff, you know. So uh, you guys got to, you know, open up your laptops and get to it. Help others by helping yourself uh, and make money supporting local business and getting them more customers and doing your part to uh, enrich somebody else's life. And it's going to enrich your life. All right, guys, I'll see you in the rest of the course.